Alright, welcome to my city. This is a game called City Skylines, and uh, I've been playing this game for... Well, actually, I've just picked it up last month since I recently made finally made the switch to 64-bit. And uh, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, and I really do like uh, this kind of game. I'm not really good in city management, city creation games, but... Uh, this one seems to be really good, really nice. So I'm gonna take you to a tour. My uh, my nice, my nice twenty thousand population city. As soon as the uh, traffic lets up. Oh, he's gonna go to the uh, Japanese garden that I have built, somewhere somewhere around my uh, around my what you call it, around my residential area. I'm not really sure if I've created it correctly, but that's probably why I'm making this video. One reason why is for people to see, you know, what I've done and what can be, imp you know, improved on. So it's nice he didn't get stuck in the traffic over there at the roundabout that I made. But this, uh, went straight over here, huh? I've accidentally created a worst case scenario of a main road and it's become something akin of um, EDSA. All this traffic, man, I am so sorry. So backed up too. Oh, I've noticed this problem for a while now, but um, and I've been trying to do things to lessen this, this kind of traffic thing, but I don't know, it ain't working. Look, see this, this, this guy, this guy here. Yeah, he's just blocking the motor. I didn't know we had motorcycles in this game. It's pretty cool. <coughs> um, just made this. Uh, I was aiming for this to be my main, my main street. You know, all the nice uh, commercial. See, you got level 3 commercial over here, low density, low density, you know. I wish I could have made a uh, video earlier to showcase, like, you know, from a small town to a big, big, you know, city kind of thing, but, yeah, I couldn't make a recording. Now look what's happening, I don't know. <laughs> Good thing we could just pass by. It's happening taking a while it's actually not taking you know that bad I hope that building it's it's being saved you can see sirens over there they're putting out putting out the fire this guy's stuck in traffic though hopefully he can make it on time <coughs> and now you're gonna see the first weird thing about my city is I have a really big slope kind of ramp thing this is I'm not this isn't the final product you know, that isn't the final product. I'm still working on how to make the most traffic adjusted area in my place you know, actually function and work. So far... Well, I've been stuck here for how long now? Uh, stuck here for a while now. And so I just get so many bad memories of that place. I was trying to leave the city from Pasai Terminal and it started playing Captain America. I got in the bus, you know, it's supposed to be 4 hour uh, bus ride from 9pm to 1am I should be home in Bataan, you know, but at the start of the, the start of the trip uh, they played Captain America and the mo uh, Winter Soldier and the movie ended and I was still at Edsa. I wasn't even at Ed's, so I was just still in the metro. That, that's a, like an hour and a half movie or something. And this is my fail kind of rotunda thing. Roundabout. I don't I don't get it. I wish they would have just I guess the only way to make it like a constant flow of, you know, traffic in a roundabout is if it's on a highway kind of thing. I guess you can't trust people to like, you know, guide their own own butts to their destination 
you know, with all the traffic lights and stuff. Yes. Pretty cool. Holy shit. Holy shit. There he goes. There he goes. So fast. So fast, actually. Can I catch him? I caught him. Alright. I've caught my Pokemon. Nice sports car over there, and then all this traffic. I don't know, I try to increase, I guess, in that kind of situation, what would be really good is to improve your public transportation system. And I haven't put up a subway yet, and apparently you can't even put up an MRT kind of thing. You can probably do so with an elevated train station, but it's not really an MRT. Uh, but I guess that's what an MRT is, an elevated train station, train a railway kind of thing. So I, I guess what I have to do is, uh, Im you know, improve my public transportation so I get less cars. I mean, that is the theory. Oh, it's not in the residential area. Apparently, I have another Japanese garden over here um, behind my... Actually, part of the... part of the main street. You know, I got my two highways, yeah, I got some two... the two gigastore, the gigastore monopoly going on. Got some boutique shopping. My density. Uh, <coughs> let's go look for uh, another thing to follow. See what I had? Um, my idea was for this if like, so if I'm gonna like getting, you know, if, if ho hopefully all my imports just you know go over here instead of congesting you know this part of the road. I'm gonna go straight to my industry, to my industry over here. Where is he gonna go? To the. Household goods, it's factory, in or products, household, huh, alright then, alright, beautiful technology we have, uh, great driving skills also, so I've put most of my industry over here, and what I'm hoping is for, if you could follow my mouse, that the imports would go over here, they make their drops like wherever they are, over here, and they would also leave, you know, just over here also leave just take this one way it's also a one way just go over here and they get out of the city just like that clean and easy oh I guess it's been working for you know most time most of the time it's been working yeah but then now we got all this traffic over here uh, I've put up a block of um, higher high density apartments over here hmm you know, it's nice that they don't, like, in City Skyline, they don't have, like, different tiers of wealthiness of people. I think that's how it goes. I'm hoping that's how it goes. You know? Hoping that's how it goes. You just level up your buildings by different ways, like, maybe increase the land value, and then it's gonna go up, but then you could still have, like, uneducated people educated, highly educated. Actually, I gotta do more research into this, um... Maybe... Let's go compare. I have a nice farmland. Next to my industry, over here. A lot of garbage trucks, apparently. Oh boy, what a mess. What a mess. I've gotta fix that somehow. Let's see, I'm gonna look for... I've put some apartments over here. Only like level... Level 2s. See, it's saying uneducated, but you know, that's probably because I have like a bunch of, I think I have like two high schools and three elementary schools, or that. I'm gonna lower the volume of my music, the music here, the main volume, because I'm recording and I forgot about that. <clears throat> Apparently the fire department isn't doing their job, even though... I've jacked up their budget. Okay, not really jacked up. It's, yeah, still a lot of money. Just six thousand bucks, eight thousand. Jesus Christ! I gotta fix this. Get my budget up. But I have like eight hundred thousand. Anyway. Hmm. So it's probably now. This is the problem I'm facing. There's a lot of people are not able to get their uneducated workers. And that's all you need for a factory place. That's because everybody's being educated. I, I know an education's good, but you know, they're, they're not gonna work properly if they have like 10 over-educated workers. Hmm. So is it 
the problem with me leveling up the building causing all the educated and well educated the educated people to move in or is it just a problem with my schools having so many like school systems um yeah how many school systems do i have one two see i got like a bunch it, uh, i don't know i just wanted to keep it covered but i'm not sure if that was a good thing for me to do let's go back to this edsa thing that happened try to make this the main street where is it? That's not it. They try to make this area the main street. Where they would do all their shopping and all this stuff and you know, everybody would be hanging out and having fun over here but then it caused like massive amounts of traffic. I can't even... It's making me sad. Hey, look at that red. Look at that red over here too. It's bumming me out. Hmm. I was all I was also planning to have like a coastline kind of like you know, a beautiful coastline kind of shopping area too, but yeah, I don't know. There's a landfill over here. I guess what I should do is like move it further away, maybe possibly all the way over here. It's probably where I'm gonna move my landfill stuff. And um, water, well, oil plant, it's still working, I guess. Got the solar stuff too, and um, like how much water? <laughs> how much water? Um, let's see. How's my district? Uh, I don't even change names and stuff. But what I got over here? I got smoke detectors, recycling, parks and recreation, tax relief for high density commercial offices too, big business benefactor, and recreational use. I mean. Police headquarters is just like right over there, so might as well have it. Hmm. What else? I also put up some industry over here. I try to get it to like max level, but I haven't. I'm still working on it. I don't know what else I can put over there. Maybe have another road, put in some parks over there. Services. They need some services. It just eats up my budget even more. What kind of services do you need? It's like the only services you can get are like, you know. This, um, medical, firemen, and police department. Let's see here. Let's look at the bus stop. So this is my main, there's my bus terminal. And, um, I'm not sure if I'm doing these bus stop things correctly. Basically, they just make lines and stuff over here. And they try to get people from, you know, people on the main street going to the um the industry area and um this is a whole big i don't know i think i put too much too many low density um was it population eleven thousand though compared to over here three thousand even though if i even though i have like apartments over here but not too many i have a lot of like hmm low density households and as you can see they're like almost max level but since education is so spread out they're just you know they're just there's no uneducated people for me to fill up the uh, factories over here at least there's 12 that's most I've seen 13 10 are they able get to their working place. I've also put up some farmland over here because I, I noticed late, kind of late, that I actually have some good um, agriculture going on over here. So you gotta take advantage of your resources. Use two available what? Six available to 67 hectares or whatever and I'm only using two. I, I got it, I got a really that is too I thought it was I thought I'd cover it oh, this is so weird you know if only I had checked this if I had checked this out I would have like just taken advantage of all of this but now I put my I accidentally put my industry over there so I can't really use all of it though no. there's also some over here. A lot over there I can expand later on too. 
Yeah, I, I don't know why I even bought those spaces when I think of it. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, I try to experiment with um the problems of um was it factories not having any workers, and I found out that just like real life, if yeah, just like real life. If you're if you can't provide jobs with factories and you just gotta shut them down, gotta dezone some of these factory things. I dezoned a lo lot of these, a lot of the farmland, and I was able to give a um, good number of people uh, jobs. I had to lose some industry in the process, but it turns out okay. Less people complain and stuff. Less people dying because of this star starvations. Um, sixteen. How much? Twenty workers, twenty workers, workers. Level two, thirteen workers. That's Seventeen. I, why is it you know different? No idea. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good thing, but you know, I I I just like looking at it. I just like looking at it. Just now, oh, my suburb, and then I remember this is a game called Cities. Skylines. I'm supposed to say goodbye to you know, places like this, but you know, it's so nice. Just look at it over here. You know, you live over here. It's like, oh, oh, it's it's nice to live here because it's not all like you know high rises and stuff. But I guess if I wanted to prevent that, I could put in a policy where I don't have to have high rises. It just looks so nice here and cleanish and stuff. You know. Except it stretches on for so long before you can actually get some shopping going on. I should probably put up more. <clears throat> probably put up some more low density. This is my university too. I don't know why. I was thinking of a good place for the university. I just put it put it smack dab in the town. I'm not sure if that's a good. You know. Hey, it's working out so far. It's um, future expansions. I guess what I'm looking to do is, um, uh, what was I working I was just, you can see it's pretty badly laid out. I don't know why, I'm just, eh. But I pretty much just mirrored the way that um, that industry o o area over there works. Because for me, it, I don't know, it's, it's nice, see, look. They got like, you know, tractors over there, exporting. Exporting, exporting. The buses just go over there to go on the route over there. See, this moves and then they just go straight out back to the highway. Hmm. What I should probably be doing is having more elevated roads. I just can't stay flat all the time. Garbage is piled up, even though I have like how many garbage trucks available? Seventeen. I, I don't know why. No more room. Sucks to be you. Hmm. All this garbage. And what I guess I was supposed to do was... That's a lot of garbage. Hmm. I think what, how is this supposed to work is I don't need to have like a landfill and an incinerator because they're not going to put the garbage into the incinerator. It's kind of like a separate entity. Stuff. So, Probably gonna have to move that, get rid of the land built. Actually, I don't think you can. You could probably just move it, just hide it somewhere. There. I'm probably gonna be building a dam soon. I did. I uh, there's a train. There's a railroad. I did not notice. I could actually start making a train or at least my cargo, but it's only under. Is it only there? Over there yonder. I think that's a good train. That is a train, isn't it? It is a train. Is it? I want to go there so bad. I just want to look at it. Train thing? I think it's a train thing. Hmm. So I guess. Where's my natural resources? I have a lot of. There's all that ore over there, and it's conveniently next to the uh, train kind of thing, so I could probably industrialize that area. 
Also that, that's a combination. It's a combination. Is that, is that oil? Combination of forestry and oil. There. This one. All that oil, though. All that delicious oil. Hmm. Let's make a combination of that. Hmm. The highway, though. And, um, yeah, I'm basically just... The thing is, I think, I feel like that there's a lot of space that, that I accidentally took up because of this roundabout thing. But at least there's a roundabout. However, he has created a problem where there's so much traffic over here. Even though I made a one-way road, like, over here on the side, it, it doesn't help out. The main street's kind of fucked. I've inadvertently created this. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my city so far. And yeah, just comment if you think that there should be if you if you have suggestions for me to fix something. Like and share if you actually do like the video. I I will be creating these tasks. I think everybody else, if you're into city building uh, games, probably check this one.